Well, hi folks, and welcome to another Vegematic show. I have a treat for everybody tonight. Actually, I always have treats for everybody, and no one gives me any treats. So, anyway, that being said, I'm going to move on with my uh, usual word salads and usual uh, entrees to the word salad. Anyway, uh, you know, as some of you know, I take comments to heart. As a matter of fact, some comments break my heart, and some comments lift me high and lift my spirit up and flying through the air and my spirit is free. So uh, this is about artificial intelligence again. I don't know why, but I've been playing with the, the being AI creator thing and it's addictive because you think, well, uh, I thought of, well, what about if you do me a picture of a football player wearing a tutu and clown shoes playing football in a stadium. And this is one of the satisfying things about AI. And you don't have to sit there and, and draw it all out. You don't have to do anything. It'll do it all for you. Uh, but there's some problems still. There's a little bit of uh, glitching in the program, a little bug in the machine. And, and it's like, you got to be so careful with your wording on this thing. If you prompt it and it will tell you that one's been blocked, I went, okay, why is that? Well, because I said, okay, you know, I'm kind of an art guy and, and I like Diego Rivera, the famous Mexican muralist. So I said, paint me a picture in the style of Diego Rivera of striking workers. Now, I didn't think there was anything particularly subversive about it, but they blocked it. They said, no, we're not going to let you use it for that. So I just kind of chalked it up to experience and uh, I know they're uh, kind of confused about the stuff that they don't understand that the devil is living inside of artificial intelligence and he's having a ball. Now I'm not one for conspiracy theories. I laugh at conspiracy theories, uh, the chemtrails thing. I, I mean all of us are subject, subject to somehow feeling a little bit conspiratorial. Uh, it, because it's the times we live in when nobody knows what's truth and what isn't truth. And people don't believe anything you say. So anyway, um, I, I, I'm just... Uh, I'm going to give you a tour of artificial intelligence art. And I thought what I would do, and this might take me a while because I, I'm just learning some new video editing software that they, they rent you now. that You can't just buy it, the license, and use it. No, it's, it, it drives me crazy, okay? I've got this video editing software, and it was free. So you download the free app, the video editor, and and you make a film on it and it's like okay i'm learning this it's not it's not the best it's not the worst but okay this works for a little while so you get it finished and then they say well if you don't want the wa watermark spread all over your video you're we're, we're gonna ask you for 90 bucks for a year license for this and me being a kind of a cheapskate i i really resented this and I reached for my master card immediately <laughs> because I didn't want to waste the <laughs> film. And this is just some of the sacrifices that I endure to keep bringing you the weirdest show on the internet. And you know what? I'm slowly growing. I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And all you naysayers and all you people out there who, who didn't believe in me, well, take this. Um, oh, I'm getting carried away again. Why do I always do that? I, I sit down and I expect to talk to you seriously about a, a subject and inevitably it turns into just mush and I go, then I have to take it to my video editing 
the program which cost me 90 bucks to rent it for a year and then I got to do it and that's after buying photo lights and a green screen it's after buying you know a computer that can handle this kind of heavy processing and and it's been years and years and I've still made nothing nothing off YouTube not that I'm expecting to it's just kind of like I wish I wish I could get some rewards for work in life you know you, you, you slog away your whole life and you get no rewards and you get little rewards and you get a little bit and, and then you feel good for a while and then you, you crash and then you bum out and everything it just goes on and on and on it's like when I spent all my money developing the steam-powered food processor. Now it was a brilliant idea but there were several practical things and a, an ugly lawsuit and, and stuff like that involved so I had to drop the project and, and do you think people, do you think they would invest in it? No, they looked at it and said a steam-powered food processor, who needs that? And I responded, who doesn't need a steam-powered food processor? Uh, it's hard being a genius sometimes. People don't appreciate you. They take you for granted. They think you're just kind of this uh, old guy ranting and running and running around shouting at clouds and, and that nothing you do is any good. It's never good enough for anybody else. It's, well, there's always somebody willing to criticize everything everybody does. You do anything artistic, musical, whatever, there will be several assholes involved who will criticize it and say, well, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Maybe you shouldn't quit your day job. Well, fuck you. I don't have a day job. I don't care anymore. Ha 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 ha! Now I've thought about this long and hard, deeply and profoundly, and it's that no matter what you do, it's never good enough. It's never good enough. It's never good enough. Unless you have, if you're a Nepo baby, then uh, you can draw crayons on a wall and they'll say you're a genius. And of course, you'll get the movie contract and the, the show. You'll be co major network coverage and everything is. Look at those brilliant chalk marks on the blackboard. Look at those brilliant crayons in the coloring book. It, that doesn't matter anymore because art is dead. And I think AI is kind of finishing it off, but they will never, they will never capture the human soul. They will never capture the beauty of an impressionist painting and when you stand 20 feet from it and the, it's sparkling and glowing with life. Whereas this stuff, I don't know what it's sparkling and glowing is. It, yeah, a good thing. I, I've always been kind of excited by visual images, which is why I was tempted into taking this, this going and making this, using this <laughs> Bing image creator, and as an artist, it's killing me. It's killing me. Because, but then I thought, well, wait a minute. Why not use it to your advantage? Why not just come up with really novel things to have it create for you? But you've got to be really careful that you're not subversive in any way. There can be no mention of S-E-X or anything close to that because immediately it will say no we're not going to listen to that. You cannot make fun of politicians on artificial intelligence because they say no that you're not allowed. So I have to uh, go with my last video uh, which is yes uh, AI is indeed controlled by Satan. Now I'm going to go in and do some more funny pictures. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the craziest show you've ever seen. This is the Vegematic Deluxe Show. And as you watch an old man uh, slowly degenerate before your eyes and creating all kinds of chaos in his videos, 
I hope that the chaos in these videos reflects the chaos in everybody's lives. Because everybody's lives are full of chaos and confusion, worry, all that stuff, pain. But some people, they can't handle the truth. They, uh, there's some people, uh, there's one guy who left me a comment, and he's been a long time viewer, leaves me lots of comments, and, and for some reason he said, uh, uh, over my last video, which was about pointlessness, was, uh, he said, well, you know, it's pointless to watch you anymore, and I'm not going to watch you because you said it was pointless, and I go, okay, man, but, you know, okay, well, you go along with your delusions and tell me why life isn't pointless, but, you know, just to, just, you know, I, I'm sensitive, I get upset by that kind of thing. <laughs> No, sometimes, well, well, a little bit. I, I, I get a little upset sometimes. Uh, especially, you know, you, you build relationships. When you answer all the comments, you build relationships with certain people. And all they are really is a name and a little icon or something. And But you get to know that, uh, you get to know them as humans. Not really. You get to know them a little bit, at least on the surface. And then they... They turn around and stab you in the back. Well, I guess that's that's what people do. That's just life. That's just life in the 21st century. This new techno utopia we all find ourselves in. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Look into your screen. You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. Look into the screen. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with, right? But you can't help it. It's just like, oh, I'm just going to go on the computer for a few minutes and I'm just going to do a couple of little things. And 12 hours later, eyes blurry, out of coffee, going, okay, where is this going? Oh, man, that last bit of shatter was just shattering. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this stupid show and this crazy show, this nonsensical show. And don't forget, I don't ask anything of you, but your fealty. No, I, I don't ask anything of anybody. I've never asked for any money. And it's not because I don't like money. I guess it's okay. But it's because I feel that asking for money would take away from the sterling integrity that I have built up over the years with the Vegematic Deluxe audience. They know that I'm going to tell them the unvarnished truth. And for those who can't handle the truth, well, I guess we'll see who's right. Oh, I wanted to say hi to Angel's Place because she said I'm hot. <laughs> you know how long it's been since a woman said I'm hot? Wait, I don't think any, uh, I don't think that ever happened in my life. Well, maybe once or twice, 40 years ago, but my wife just laughed and laughed and laughed when I said that some woman told me I was hot. But I, I, I take it as, as a compliment. I mean, of course I do get night sweats sometimes and stuff like that, so I guess I am hot. Not that I have any ego about that or any desire to be a big star, but, you, you know, you kind of think, well, it would be nice to get some kind of recognition in life. Okay, see you next time on the Vegematic Deluxe Show. Stay real. Keep away from AI if you can, or get addicted to it if you can't, and we'll see you next time.